Now, Ghana's energy sector is set to receive a major boost as the construction of the first wave energy plant in Ghana near Ada in the Accra, Greater Accra region has reached its final stages. The technology known as Sea Wave Technology worth 4 billion US dollars is going to generate energy from renewable sources bringing hope to the country's recovering energy sector as it will reduce the cost of energy generation. Swedish ambassador to Ghana on a short visit to the site where installations for the project to kick start are situated shared enthusiasm about the benefit the country stands to gain and noted this was going to kickstart a successful trade relationship between Sweden and Ghana. Is Adafua. This is a town that is about to witness a very unique kind of technology meant to generate power for the community. I am talking about the Sea Wave technology which is a Swedish technology brought in by a Ghanaian businessman. We are here to find out how the community stands to gain from this very technology, how it intends to transform the community which is known not to have opportunities in job creation. Wave power is an emerging sector in the rapidly growing renewable energy industry and has the potential to provide more than 100% of the electricity generated globally today. Analysts estimate 10.2 trillion US dollars will be invested on new renewable generation between now and 2040. The project which started with a pilot phase has seen the construction of an initial 100 megawatt sea wave park which will eventually be scaled up to a thousand megawatts in the next five years. Since 2014, Ghanaian-owned energy company TC's Energy has been on the agenda of developing and spreading renewable ocean energy throughout West African coast, which has a large population concentration. The 100 megawatts plant could provide all the electricity needed for tens of thousands of Ghanaian homes year after year from a nearly invisible wave park that produces no pollution and creates an artificial reef for marine life. Speaking to CEO of TC's Energy Anthony Opoku, he gave an update on the project and hinted that they had finally reached the final stages for the technology to be fully deployed with funding. Uh, as you are aware, the project has not been getting funding for quite some time. So we can say some of the heavy activities were halted, but nevertheless the technical aspect of it has been ongoing for quite some time. It's been started for quite some time. We have been successful with some banks that have already issued term sheets and are ready to roll. So the visit you see here was the Swedish ambassador herself to be able to come and see what needed to be done and speed up the process so that the funds can be able to release so that the heavy activities could be able to go on. Swedish ambassador to Ghana, Inge Utvid, who was on a short visit to the site where installations for the project to kickstart are situated, shared her enthusiasm about the benefit the country stands to gain and noted this was going to kickstart a successful trade relationship between Sweden and Ghana. We would really like to enhance our trade relations with Ghana and of course also partnerships in different areas. And this uh, technology uh, is uh, of very big interest as you have these huge waves and we are very much in the forefront from, for renewables as very many countries are. Uh, I'm um, impressed what I saw. So now we hope that um, enough resources comes in, not just Swedish investment money. It's very important that you get local and investors as well. So we have a, a real partnership. Representatives from the Malaysian Bank who are willing to fund the project through Ghana's Republic Bank were also in attendance and shared his thoughts on GNTV. We've been here today to see what TC Energy is doing. Our funding is coming from Malaysia where we are working in conjunction with Republic Bank to be able to support TC Energy on whatever they are doing. So we've seen the project and we see that the project is bankable. If you look at the way it has been explained to us with the kinetic energy and then how it's working and then getting the sea waves from the sea, it means that energy can be generated at a cheaper source. And if you are generating energy at a cheaper source, then it means that it needs to be supported. It's a project that is worth being supported. We believe that once we have been able to submit to Republic Bank and then Republic Bank is looking at the project, then we should be able to provide funding for it. 
um, it is it is our dream that um, this project should be able to take off in the next few months to come and then we'll be able to add to the national grill and then contribute effectively to the development of this country the sea wave technology as you have clearly seen, is basically generating power from the strength of the sea waves. And ADA stands to gain a lot because of the strength it has where it is positioned geographically. As you can see, private investors have bought into the project and it seems like a win-win for Ghana. We look forward to see how this project pans out for the ADA community and help in the development of the economy. My name is Anna Maria Emisa reporting from Adafoa.